Hello everyone, I'm Mishi Faith, a student at Mawego Technical Institute. Nestle amidst the lush green landscapes of Western Kenya, Mawego Technical Training Institute has emerged as the crown jewel of technical education. With a soaring population that's study or dispatch on, uh, on the 30th of August and as we talk now we are still waiting for the legal uh, the legal the legal document so that we can be we can change the rebranding of the institution but otherwise we appreciate the ministry for upgrading us to a national polytechnic which will go a long way in assisting the county in terms of uh, uh, developing the curricula because when you are a national polytechnic, you have the mandate to develop your curricula, set and certify the students appropriately. So we thank the Ministry for upgrading us to a national polytechnic in this region. But this one will go a long way in assisting most of our students. Another thing that I would like to say is that uh, we would like to thank the, uh, the MP for a choice because of the support that he has given to the students that uh, have uh, gotten the opportunity to come around. We got uh, around 250 something from 50, 55 there about that was sponsored through the initiative of the uh, what makes Mawego so irresistible is the promise of quality education, a nurturing environment, and a bright future. Mawego's popularity is a testament to its unwavering commitment to excellence. As we delve deeper into what makes Mawego a trailblazer, we come face to face with its impressive array of modern equipment. Mawego stands at the forefront of technical education, and this is evident in its investment in cutting-edge technology and tools. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, my name is uh, Mr. Benalan. I'm administrator in the registry at Maweko, uh, now National Polytechnic. I take this opportunity to welcome you to uh, this uh, brief account of what we are. Uh,
contact with the Rift Valley. So we have a broad spectrum of students, which is very encouraging because uh, this one enables students from different backgrounds and different ethnic groups to interact and end up behaving as one ethnic group. We have uh, again introduced new CPET courses. Initially, all the students were being examined by Kenya. Majority of the students are being examined by the Kenya National Examination Council. But from September, it was a government directive that all Tibet institutions to take the competency-based training, that is CBET, and all our new students have joined the CBET course. This is different from the other one which uh, students have been pursuing from, I think, 1985 when uh, most of these technical training institutions were established. In this one, we are concentrating most on what the student is able to do rather than what the student is able to recall. So examination will be based on what? On a competency level. For example, if somebody is talking about level 6, a person who has level 6 certificate, there are prescribed competencies that is expected the person to perform. So it is a wonderful program because if well implemented, this is one of the training methods that can easily propel Kenya into newly industrialized state or country. Thank you. Kabuti Joyce, a registered clinical officer. I started working at Mawego in October 2020. Majorly in this dispensary, we offer medications to students, consultations to staff. My, my, my name is Masiwo Edwin. I'm the deputy dean of students from Mawego uh, Technical Training Institute. I want to take this opportunity to encourage each and every person in all parts of the country that we, Mawego uh, Technical Training Institute, we are a very good institution whereby we offer different courses that in all departments we have a building department, business department, institutional management department, applied science department, mechanical department, and many other departments. We recently introduced uh, new courses, for example, medical laboratory pharmaceutical courses. Now, uh, speaking uh, on behalf of uh, our office, uh, the Dean of Students office is home away from home. That is Mawego Technical for all the students that have enrolled in the college. Uh, the office works uh, in close liaison with sports office, guidance and counseling office, and uh, even the financial advisory office. Uh, welcome to Mawego Technical Training Institute just about to transition into a national polytechnic. My name is Agrippa Onkuka, I'm the registrar. Uh, at Mawego, we offer various courses and with the new shift in policy, uh, we are currently continuing with the old curriculum, which was modular and uh, we have second years and third years doing modular. Our first years are mainly doing the CBET and we have CBET courses in the following areas automotive, building, electrical, food production, horticulture, ICT. We have also developed similar courses that existed initially and uh, modular and transitioned them to CBET. Currently we are operating under the guidance of SIDAC. So at the moment our training is on 
and the population of Mawego has increased significantly. We thank all the parents and the new trainers who have confidence in us and applied to join the institution. From state-of-the-art machinery, engineering labs to computer science centers equipped with the latest software and agricultural machinery, Mawego ensures that the students have access to the tools they need to excel in their chosen fields. Mawego Technical Training Institute leaves no stone unturned in preparing its students for the challenges of the modern world. Here, they not only learn but innovate, creating solutions that addresses real global problems. Behind the scenes of Mawego's success story are the dedicated and qualified trainers who serve as mentors and guides to the students. These educators are the backbone of Mawego's educational excellence. Mawego takes pride in its faculty, who bring a wealth of knowledge and experience to the classroom. They inspire, challenge, and support students on their educational journeys. They understand that education is not just imparting knowledge, it's about empowering individuals to become the best versions of themselves. Mawego's legacy is defined by the accomplishments of its graduates. They are the living proof that, with the right education and guidance, dreams can become reality. Mawego Technical Training Institute, with its high population making it most preferred in Western Kenya, modern equipment and qualified trainers, is not just an educational institution. It's a beacon of hope and empowerment. It's where dreams take flight, where skills are forged, and where the future is born. Join us in celebrating the spirit of Mawego, a place where possibilities are endless and the pursuit of excellence is a way of life. Mawego Technical Training Institute, empowering dreams in Western Kenya. Otherwise, uh, we thank everybody for the support so far that we have gotten, especially the community, in terms of the security of the students around. Uh, we also, as an institution, we have in, improved on the security of, uh, of the students, those coming in, and in terms of uh, our property, we have also been improved the security of the property so that we can take care of what the government has entrusted us to manage during the time that we are here. Otherwise, I thank everybody, and I thank the trainers for the support so far that they have given to this institution to come to the level now that we are a national polytechnic. Thank you very much and may God bless you.